for this tutorial. I am Ravindra and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the console. As we have seen the two methodologies to take the dynamic input from the user, namely buffer reader and the scanner, even we have seen the some positive and negatives about the those two methods. In this tutorial I am going to talk about the console class which is also help us to take the dynamic input from the user and let's uh, see some positive and negative about the console class the console was introduced uh, after the java 5 version that is java 1 1.6 that is the java 6 version so what was the need of uh, having a console so what we cannot achieve with the buffer reader and scanner so one of the thing is that we can read the li uh, line from the buffer reader and through the scanner but one of the main thing that those buffer reader and scanner cannot do is that is that they cannot accept the password password in the sense if the user type password the password shouldn't be visible to anyone even user also so that that's how the can get the security the console allows us to type password without showing even user and it's obviously it's not visible to others so how to use console so you have to just use the console class you have to create a console class object variable object reference variable in this case i have used p then i have called the console method through the system class whose return type is console so this console method is directly taking the from the console so as we know that the if the input is in the form of object we have some method methods to accept the actual with the lines and the things the uh, console has provided many methods so we'll see the some of the important methods from the console class so these are the some some of the important method from the console the first one is a read line the read line it actually reads the single line of text from the console whose return type is string and which is a public method the second method is again it's same read line but it's actually taking the two parameters first parameter is a string parameter and other parameter as an object okay so uh, we are going to use the second method so i'm going to have the used example tutorial we will see the in detail read line how we have used it similarly we are having the password method that is a read password method whose return type is character also public method so this password method allows us to what read the password that is not being displayed on the console so console you you are not able to see how many character even how many characters you entered and similarly the even you don't get the idea what you typed also but if you type the correct password then that is going to be validated the last method is the pub, uh, same method which actually uh, takes the two parameter that is the string and object we will see this one i have uh, used the second and fourth method in my example we'll see till how to use these two methods so i have uh, typed this program if i'm using uh, this program through the Eclipse IDB ID, it is actually going to provide a, a kind of exception. So let's try to run this and find see the exception. So this exception is shown in Eclipse ID. Okay. So because of the I have used the ID, this exception is shown. If I am going to run the same program through the Notepad and Command Prompt, so there is no error. I am not going to talk about why this error is coming in the Eclipse. Okay. So actually, the I have used the read line method, which is actually retaining null null value. So there are some 
issues with the eclipse so i am not going to discuss all those issues at this time okay we'll directly move to the notepad so uh, i'm going to type the entire program in this notepad i have taken one class named console example that is console ex i have imported the required package that is java io dot console because i am going to use the console class methods also so i need console class in this program so i have imported the java io dot console so next thing is i am going to create a console class object variable so i have a season my console class object which is actually going to hold the the input so next as i know that read line method i have used so i have called the read line method through the c object and which is actually accepting one parameter as I, as i have just showed you the second method which is actually taking the two parameter i have just entered the first parameter because as per my requirement in this program i have used the only the first parameter i am not going to enter the second parameter so in this program we are going to actually prompt the user for enter his his username and password so this program is actually only accepting username password and if the both the name and password matches with the with the logic then we will going to display the valid password or invalid password so first thing we have done that created the class uh, console class object with the console class object i have i have called the read line method okay so this string this message string message is directly going to display on your console this is the one of the benefit of a console class so normally we use the what system dot out dot ln we use actually uh, actually we display the message through the system dot print out print out dot print ln right but here in this single line i'm going to do the same task and i'm going to at the same time i'm going to accept the username also so this single line is single line is working at like an displaying as well as accepting so this is the benefit of a console which is not in the buffer reader and scanner the buffer in the buffer reader and scanner we require two different lines that is system dot out dot print ln to display the message and another line to accept the input here the so both things are done by the single line so next is uh, as i have got the my username okay that is in the uname that is the uname string now next thing is i require the password so i use the read password method from the console class which is called by the console class object so similarly here also this message is going to be displayed at the same time this re uh, read password method is ready to accept the password not visible to the anyone and then that accepted password will be in the form of character array so this pwd array is going to store the entered password the next thing is that we need to convert the entered password into the string so i have used the string constructor so i have one thing is we know know that i have accepted the password and converted into the character string now my requirement is i want to convert the entered password into the string so that i have uh, created one string variable that is u pwd okay and i have called one constructor from the string and i have put the pwd character character array so that that constructor will automatically convert the character array into the string 
so now we are having the password in the form of the upwd user password the next thing is now i have to validate whether entered name and password is as per my requirement or not so i have used this i have the if and if else statement so first i have used over here equal method for the comparison so we know that the equal method so u name is username is equals to the my xyz so i am considering uh, xyz is my user uh, username and if the user is going to enter xyz if the both strings are matches okay going to return what one that is true and if user password is equals to the xyz so both if the both string matches then it is also true so when true and true we know that final answer is true okay so if the both string matches it will be displayed what valid user if the any any string is not matching so obviously we are going to get the false and true false false is false so now else part is there showing the invalid user so this is how our program is overall now we have run uh, we have written our logic let's try to run a program so uh, in this uh, program i use the notepad plus plus even you can use the normal notepad to write the program now i'm going to run the program i have saved my program on the desktop so i have uh, moved to the desktop now I'm going to compile it. Compile successfully. Now I'm going to run it. It is asking the username. So as per the program requirement, I must write, must type x y z. So it will it is going to match now the password. So here, when I'm going to type the password, okay exactly xyz that won't be displayed on the console or even you one cannot understand whether i have entered something or not so that i'm going to type x y and z okay i have typed the xyz even you may not recognized that is these keywords are these words are typed now i'm going to enter uh, press the enter to valid user again i'm going to run this and this time i'm going, not going to put the right password i'm going to put the correct username but i'm going to put wrong password that is x y y so invalid user right so again i'm running i'm trying to give the wrong username and correct password still it is going to give the invalid because my username is wrong one so this is the one of the use case of a console the very very important use case whenever you are going to the authentication like a password password shouldn't be displayed or shouldn't be uh, visible while typing it so this is the very important use case of console so thank you